Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. All right, this is the day after here. It's the day after the GGG and Kell Brook fight, man. Hell of a fight. Hell of an event. Love the fight. Love the event, man. Um, Even though my main man, Kell Brook, didn't get it done, still was very entertained by the whole event in general, man. Let me just say that I lost no respect for neither fighter after this particular fight. Hats off to Kell Brook and hats off to Gennady Golovkin for entertaining us fans and giving us a great show, man. You know, at the end of the day, man, Kell Brook, all he wanted was respect. You know what I mean? To show the world that I am not like you guys think I am. I ain't uh, 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 inexperienced fight. I'm not a one hit wonder. I'm willing to get in the ring with the biggest and baddest men on the planet. Do not put me in that box that I'm just a lower tier fighter. He wanted his respect and he went after it. And I applaud that, man. So, you know, it was a good fight from that retrospect. And also, you know, at the end of the day, man, people, you know, I'm noticing this YouTube shit, man. Like I've been doing this now for about a year, a little over a year, man. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something, man, like, this shit used to be fun. You got to make this shit fun. You got to keep it fun. Everyone wants to be these like super intelligent analysts. Like, yo, they all have the answers. Not ain't never put a fucking boxing glove on in their life, you know, and everyone on here is calling each other names or oh, you're racist, you're black, you're white, or oh, you're casual, you're a diehard, you don't know shit about boxing, blah, 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 blah. And it's like it got to a point where it just got serious and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, fuck, this shit ain't serious. This shit is fun, man. Have some fucking fun. Let's not forget at the end of the day, we are fans, man. And people tend to forget that. So I thought by taking the, the position of Kell Brook would shock the world, which I thought thoroughly did believe i thought he had the tools in the toolbox to do it but i believe in that and pushing that narrative man this made the sport fun i know for my folks in the build-up to this fight we had a good time man talking about this fight in every angle and everything so this is all about fun at the end of the day man we were fans man and these two fighters were being exploited prior to this fight so they were forced and they found each other i have no problems whatsoever with ggg or Kell Brook in this particular fight, man. Um, we're hearing that my man Orbital Bone is a little jacked up, man. Um, he took some serious. I knew I knew something was going on. He was pawing at his uh, left eye for a lot of parts parts of the fight, man. Um, you know that could have been the turning point of the fight, man. Because up to that point, though. Brook was dig he was getting hit pretty hard by certain punches here and there, and his punch resistance was, to me was very very iffy. I thought up to that point, man, he still was kind of like shoulder to shoulder with uh, uh, Gennady Golovkin. Uh, once that eye issue came into effect, man, it was just like boom, you know, it was, he was getting hit, uh, you know, two three times at a, at, at a time, you know, after that point. So you know, clearly it did definitely uh, take away from Kell Brook's game plan. But man, just still good fight, man. He gave his best effort. He did the best that he can do with. The situation he was in and I, I was very very entertained man no one has no reason to down this fight all of these i told you so people man just cut the shit man we had fun we had a great time man um this was all you know this was an awesome time for boxing next week we'll have another big car with canelo and liam smith and then after that we'll be preparing for ward and kovalev man all good fights this is a time to have fucking fun with the sport of boxing man i take nothing away from ggg you know a lot of people said that ggg may have been sick in this fight listening to ggg in this post fight interview man um maybe this ggg mentally wasn't up for this fight meaning that it's he he, he didn't feel as though kell brook was a true middleweight and so he just like man you know I, I i show up for the bag of money but i, I really don't want to be here you know what i'm saying so maybe that could have been it but you know triple g gotta look at the on the good side of things for one you kept your title and you kept your reputation and for two you know the fight with billy joe saunders should be starting today you know what i mean every effort to get billy joe saunders in the ring now that you are in uk should start today so we'll see how that goes man a lot of people are running down the road of saying oh well this fighter will beat triple g because he looked this way in this particular fight no, 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 that's bullshit, because if you were iffy about if any fighter would have beat Triple G before Kell Brook, you should be iffy now, because prior to this fight, he didn't look this way, he was looking like the typical Triple G, and no one had shit to say, it was a maybe game then, but then he gets in there, one fight, different styles, man, different strokes, different folks, we don't know if he carried Kell Brook, I have my theories on that, man, um, 
I'm not prepared to say that any other fighter is just automatically going to get in there and beat Gennady Golovkin. He did look beatable last night, but that's not the typical Gennady Golovkin that we get every particular fight. So, But Kel Brook did incorporate things into his game plan that I thought would expose Gennady Golovkin. I thought that was his weakness. And when Kel Brook executed that part you know, of, of being aggressive, standing his ground, moving laterally, working behind the jab, putting together combinations and uppercuts, standing right there with uh, Gennady Golovkin, using head movement to get out of the way of his punches and not backing up. Whenever Kell Brook fought in that manner, man, he was very, very successful. Uh, it's just that the power difference, man, forced Kell Brook to start retreating, man, unfortunately. But um, I'm telling you, man, this was a good fucking fight. I enjoyed it, man. Y'all motherfuckers out there need to learn to enjoy the sport more and stop being so critical of the sport and stop turning around and, uh, uh, you know, you beefing with people you don't even fucking know. You know, y'all need to cut that shit out, man. Have some fun with the sport. Me and my people had a great time with this buildup. And guess what? We're going to have an even greater time with the next two fight buildups because we going in. Stick around, man, because it's going to get more exciting here on Main Man Made Man's channel. Real talk. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Hashtag shock the world didn't happen, but Kell Brook is still my main man. And to the next video, Main Man Made Man, don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. You know, hey, I'm telling y'all, man. Enjoy the fucking sport for what the sport is. Canelo Alvarez, if he gets to Liam Smith and he starts to move towards a super fight with Gennady Golovkin, man, just think of the excitement that will entail also. Man, it's just, just boxing right now is just the shit, man. It's the shit right now, man. Heads off to these two fighters, taking their destinies back into their own hands. One man winning respect and the other man showing the world, look, fuck y'all. I don't need y'all. I'm going to continue with my career anyway, with or without. You cowards. And I love that. To the next video. Peace out.